Okay, sorry for it being so dark, but my power went out, so that's fun. I have lots of breast milk stored away, praying it doesn't defrost, and I have a very tired sleeping baby on me. We were kind of up all last night. She... We went to the doctor yesterday, had to get blood work drawn because they're afraid she's not gaining weight. The, um, like gaining weight helps me, even with the G-tube. And so, had to get blood drawn and had to get vaccines. And, uh, and then this darn time change. So, we were up all night last night. It was not very fun. And so, we are just now really gaining sleep. And I think we sleep best when we sleep on mommy because it just seems like she'll be sleeping and I say that with air quotes but I don't have a hand to do air quotes. But then we like sleep when we're hanging out on mom. And I'm sorry that I just look kind of crazy. I haven't had time to put on my contacts or brush my hair or even brush my teeth. Thank goodness you guys can't smell my breath because I bet it would stink. But yeah, so my power went out and I haven't had coffee this morning and I am utterly exhausted. The one thing that was like super awesome about not pumping was the fact that I could have all the caffeine that I wanted. Because, like, when I was pumping for her, especially when she's in the NICU, they, like, really didn't want me to do caffeine. And if I did, only do one serving a day. And that was so stinking hard. Ugh. That was, like, one of the hard... That and dairy was, like, the two hardest things for me not to do. And do in abundance. So, I have been eating all the stinking dairy that I want and all the caffeine that I want. Oh, it has been a rough few days because um, her feeding pump that feeds her like quit working, which it worked enough to get us through the night and we just received our new one this morning. Which got woke up to, hey, I'm in your driveway. Sorry, I'm so here so early, but catch your feet and bump. So I had to, like, rush and get clothes on and uh, go outside. So I didn't look too crazy with my crazy hair, which you can't tell because it's so dark. But that's good. You don't need to see how crazy my hair is. But so I had that happen. And then tried to went and go get her medicine. And my favorite pharmacy that we usually use is not a compound pharmacy. So they could not fill her prescription. So, holy crap, guys. My power just came back on. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. I was so worried about my breast milk thawing out. Oh, praise Jesus. Anyways, well, it's still going to be dark because... I didn't have the light on, but, so, I couldn't go to my favorite pharmacy to get her prescriptions filled, and called around to a couple other pharmacies, they didn't have it, or they couldn't do it, because, and finally the one explained to me, hey, we're not a compound pharmacy, this is, this is the closest compound pharmacy to us, and, um, so I went there, they try to start filling it. The lady was a butthole. It was so rude. And it like really hurt my feelings because I was already having a bad day. And just to find out they don't take my insurance. Like pretty much the most common insurance that we have here. They don't take it. So I was like, well that would have been something nice to start off with. Like, hey, what insurance do you have since you're new? Uh hey, we don't take it, so let's not go through all this trouble. Well, after crying a lot on the phone with another pharmacy, uh, it was awful. My mom, I finally got a hold of Children's, and the whole thing was, is I don't want to have to drive all the way to Children's. Children's is a good ways away from me, and it's in, 
like the city and if you have never driven in Birmingham, Alabama, you don't understand the pain of driving in the city. It's not like driving in the city, probably like up north in the city where it's like everybody's used to driving in the city. It's, I think Birmingham, Alabama is like voted like third in the nation for the most aggressive drivers. Ugh, it is not fun. Everyone, no one likes to use their signals and their buttholes and I've used that word twice now. I am a, I'm sorry if that offends anyone. Um I hope that doesn't. But anyways, so oh it was awful. I cried so much and finally my mom was like when I got off work she's like, Do you want me to come get your prescriptions and fill them for you? I was like, Oh, yes, please, thank you. I am so thankful that I have a mom who is willing to help me out. Who, one, I have a mom that's here. I have so many friends who don't have their moms anymore, and that breaks my heart because as a parent now, I need, in reality, I need my mom more than ever. She helps me out so much. And so I was just like, Yes, thank you. So she went and got it and brought it back and brought her medicines back. And I'm just thankful we finally got our medicines. And because unfortunately, there's a thing called granular tissue that can form around her G tube. And it's like where it's like pockets of skin that form and they can get really irritated and like hurt really bad and I could tell she's already starting to get a little tender but thankfully they just popped up yesterday and she had a pediatrician appointment yesterday so it all worked out we got cream and we're well I did some last night but we're really starting it today so hopefully that'll get cleared up really soon uh, we started her on a second thing of reflux medicine uh, it's not covered by insurance, but to be honest, it's worth it. She, her reflux is so bad. Just having just Zantac does not cover it. She, just not just reflux, she chokes on it and it comes out of her nose and it is so scary. I'm afraid to drive anywhere with her because what do you do if you're driving down the interstate and your baby's choking? Like, where do you pull over at? Like, there's not really a whole lot of places to pull over at on the interstate and and from where I live pretty much to get anywhere I guess like in town you pretty much have to get on the interstate so it was just yesterday was a rough day I'm just so glad that it's over and it is a new day which it's not that great of a day because it's election day uh so do your part and vote because you know this election kind of sinks you know but like and, I, and even if we disagree which I'm not saying who I'm voting for because uh, I don't like political debates or anything like that there's no sense in it we all vote for who we feel is going to be best and there's nothing wrong with that but um you need to do your part. Like, your voice can't be heard if you don't vote. So, go vote, guys. Um, I'm going to do it. But, I can't remember. I wasn't going to do a... Oh, I'm getting my hair cut today. But other than that, I feel like I was on some rant and now I don't remember. But, uh, anyways, thanks guys for hanging out and listening to me while my power was out. And now my power is back on. Thank you, Jesus. So, you guys have a great day, and, oh, wait, one more thing. <laughs> have a great day, and God bless.